Hi, Susan Stewart's here from the Brown School. She, her, hers pronouns. I volunteer for Paraquat as a sexuality educator, which leads me to ask, what does let's do it mean? When we omit a word, it's usually because it's rude to say it. We typically avoid saying sex when trying to be polite. So does let's do it mean let's do sex? Probably Paraquat's leadership did not mean let's do sex when they chose its slogan. They probably meant let's take our rightful places in history and society now. I know sex talk can make people pretty uncomfortable, but in our society, sexiness is essential to secure, securing our rightful place. And sexy means looking like you're ready for sex anytime, anywhere, and in all positions. That kind of sexy is not possible for many. So dis do disabilities consign people to no sex lives, which then mark them for no access elsewhere? Tell Me, Tell Me is a short story by Irving Zola that answers this question. It's about two disabled lovers who must navigate urine bottles, body boards, straps, wheelchairs, two narrow doorways, and more to have sex. No matter, they go for it. They check for consent, improvise pleasures, speak up for what they want, reject what they don't, honor mutuality, disclose what many able-bodied lovers don't have the guts to say or ask, and end up purring like cats. After listening to Zola's short story, a room full of undergrads typically exclaim, wow, I want to have sex like that. So sexy is in the eye of the beholder. International human rights specify all people have access to chosen sex lives, from puberty to death. Dating who we want, living together, marrying, having or not having children, and enjoying satisfying sex until the end of life. So let's do it. Must mean doing sex as well as including doing everything else human we advocate for. Congratulations, Paraquad, for promoting independent and interdependent living for 50 years. I'm a fan.